back with another one. So as most of you all probably already know, uh, Danny Garcia will be facing um, Brandon Rios in Las Vegas on February 17th at the Mandalay Bay Event Center. And, um, you know, I was, I was, when I first heard about the fight, I'm like, you know, okay, the guy's coming off a loss, you know, he's coming off a long layout, it's gonna be close to a year when he gets back in the ring, so I'm like, ah, you know, who cares, it's, it's probably gonna be an exciting fight, but now, uh, the WBC just came out and said this will be a title eliminator for a second mandatory, uh, uh, second mandatory challenger position at, um, you know, for, uh, Keith Thurman's WBC strap. So, I mean, what, <laughs> what the fuck, man? I'm like, you know, it is what it is because, you know, when I first heard about it, uh, the WBC making this an eliminate, I'm like, man, it's some bullshit. But then if you really look at it, you know, when is this, you know, whoever wins this fight, when are they, you know, realistically going to get a shot? Because, um, you know, Deontay Water informed all of us that, you know, all you have to do is make a, 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 a mandatory defense every 12 months so once Keith Thurman faces Sean Porter and gets that mandatory out the way he doesn't have to deal with another mandatory for a whole nother year so you know in the meantime you know these guys could take L's you know especially if, if you know Danny Garcia or you know who obviously is going to win this fight you know if he takes an L I mean I don't see who he would get in there that he could take an L with so uh, I mean it's bullshit so um What's the guy? Mauricio Suleiman said uh, Porter will get the first mandatory crack at Thurman and then Garcia Rios will get the second crack. The WBC had actually wanted Porter and Garcia to fight in a final eliminator last year, but there is very little interest from Garcia's camp. So that's, that's showing you that they wanted to go ahead and do it the right way with Sean Porter and Danny Garcia. But, uh, you know, Garcia wasn't interested in that. You know, they're going to re reward him. You know, for not wanting to, to take a hard, you know, a hard road back to the strap. But at the end of the day, man, you know, I really don't like seeing these guys, you know, lose a, a title shot and then get a shot at the same guy to beat them within a few fights. You know, I'm not a fan of that anyway. And, you know, everybody's always talking about all oh, the, the world away division is the glamour division. You know, everybody uh, wants to be in the, in the world away division because that's where the money at. But. You know, looking at the welterweight division, you know, when you really break it down, you know, besides the champions, you know, there's only like a few contenders that's like really money guys. So, I mean, the welterweight division is really fucking top heavy. You know, you got Keith Thurman, Earl Spence, uh, Jeff Horn and uh, Danny Garcia. I guess you got you got Sean Porter, Manny Pacquiao. We don't know what he's going to do. I doubt he will fight any of the top guys. And, of course, you got Terrence Crawford coming up. But, I mean, that's what, five, six guys? I guess that's enough guys to, you know, do a round robin. But, I mean, it's really not that deep, in my opinion. You know, and you look at the, the rankings uh, as far as, you know, the top ten in each sanctioning body. I mean, I ain't. it's just going to be these guys having to fight each other over and over again. And if these guys aren't willing to fight each other, then, I mean, that's really going to make for a a shitty division because that you know it's so you know such a, a, a small pool of, of talent and, and money makers in that division that these guys will have to fight each other if they want to make some money you know it's nowhere these guys can go they can't go to 154 i mean there's killers waiting over there and you know they don't even have enough star power to even warrant the risk you know so these guys gotta fight each other um this brandon rios uh danny garcia shit i mean at the end of the day, man, Al Heyman, that dude, because, I mean, he <laughs> he getting shit done. I mean, what he did with Sergey Lippin is they, they got, um, they damn near got uh, Indongo stripped before the fight happened. And, I mean, uh, what they doing now with, uh, you know, with this WBC uh, fucking mandatory elimination or whatever with, with Garcia and Brandon Rios, I mean, the dude got a lot of power, man, for real. But, uh, hopefully... Uh, you know, Keith Thurman goes ahead and gets Sean Porter out the way. And, well, I guess he's going to take Jesse Vargas and he's going to take Sean Porter after Jesse Vargas. I doubt he's going to fight three times. And then he could fuck around. I don't even think uh, WBA has mandatory. So he could fuck around and, and face Sean Porter and then right after that go after Danny Garcia uh, and be like, that's a mandatory. 
you know, even though he don't have to fulfill a mandatory for another 12 months after he beats Sean Porter. But uh, man, it's it's crazy, man. This is this is boxing. This is you know the shit we gotta deal with, and um, you know it's these sanctioned bodies, man. They wanna they wanna make fucking money. You know, you look at the rankings of the WBC, the top five. You know, we got Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, Manny Pacquiao, and Jesse Vargas. Okay, I mean, that's big. Most of them are the the most money guys out of the you know the top fifteen. Those are the guys that's that's in the top five. You know, because the WBC want to get these guys to fight each other so they can get ten percent of that big purse. So I mean, I don't know, man. But uh, anyway, man, this is Sense 93 Sports. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified when all my latest content drops. And I'm out.